9-0. That is a very impressive record. But sadly, I'm not talking about the Cowboys in this series with Evans Okacha. Right now, we're 5-5, five and five, and I believe we were 4-5 and five after 9 weeks, or after 9 games, I should say. What 9-0 refers to is the crystal ball that this series has become in predicting the outcome of Cowboys games. In one of the previous episodes, I played against the Philadelphia Eagles, and we won the game 29-28, and the Cowboys beat the Eagles yesterday, making this series 9-0 in predicting Cowboys games on the season. So we'll see how it continues to shape and unfold as the season progresses, but here we go against the Washington Redskins right now, who are 6-4 in this series, and we go 3-0 out right away with Brian Arakbo making a great play coming off the edge to tackle Evans Okacha, short of the first down marker. We'll go to the next possession now as RG3 has already thrown a touchdown pass in this game, and it's second down and six for Tony Romo. He's going to go deep to the right side, and he wanted Miles Austin, actually Jason Witten, and it fell incomplete. But when Okacha was off the field on third down, we would get a first down. Sadly, I can't show you those plays unless I pick them myself. Second down and five now. Pitch outside for Okacha trying to find some running room. But D'Angelo Hall is out there making sure he contains the edge. And then we get a first down again when Okacha's off the field. And Romo going along to the left side. It's nearly picked off. And he was looking in the direction of Kevin Ogletree. Third and three now for Tony Romo. Quick left side. He dumps it off to Evans Okacha. And he is stopped shy of the first down marker. And so we tack on a field goal and make it seven to three. And then we get the football back. Romo going deep to the left side, but just out of bounds intended for Miles Austin, who had a lot of separation. Then we hand the ball off to Evans Okacha. A juke and now cut into the outside, and he gets around the edge. I mean, that's Brandon Merriweather, and he's going to get a big gain here at 25 yards. A very nice run from Evans Okacha. And that's going to bring us to the second quarter now. Romo dumps it right side. Okacha, good block on the outside by, looks like Cole Beasley or Danny Cole. I forget who number 84 is. But it's a first down for Evans Okacha as he is hit late and is not called because there's biased referees. On second and 10, we do an end around to Des Bryant for six yards. And we would then convert for a first down. New set of downs for Tony Romo back in the pocket going deep to the end zone. One on one, it's knocked away. Great play by Josh Wilson covering Des Bryant. That sets up second down and 10. Romo under pressure, and he goes down. Sacked on the play by Brian Arakbo, and we would end up scoring a touchdown on third down, actually. A 32-yard touchdown pass to Miles Austin. But RG3 answered us right back, and now it's up to us to try to answer him back. So, nice catch here by Des Bryant coming across the middle. Now second and 14. Screen pass left side. is caught by Okacha. A spin move, a juke. Some good blocking on the outside, actually. And that's going to get us close to a first down as we set up third and two. Now Lawrence Vickers in front of Evans Okacha. But we can't get two yards on third and two. And so we're going to go for it on fourth and one. Tony Romo looking to do a quarterback sneak. And he gets the yardage himself. Looks like he was actually tackled there by an offensive lineman to just make sure he didn't fumble the ball, it looked like. And now on second and ten, Romo off the play action. He got blitzed again, and Brian Arakpo takes him down for his second sack on the day. We would punt the ball. And the Redskins would not punt because they're busy scoring touchdowns in our defense. And Romo is under a lot of pressure right now as he goes down again. And the Redskins score yet another touchdown. And we are in the second half, by the way. Romo deep to the right side. He wanted Miles Austin. Instead, he finds D'Angelo Hall. Intercepted. He returns it to inside the 15-yard line. And the Boo Birds are out in Dallas now as it's 31-10. But, you know, this Dallas team, they can score points in a hurry. They have firepower and they have Evans Okaja, of course. 21 points is doable, but not if our defense can't hold their offense a little bit. So here's a nice catch by Jason Witten, and now we're working in Redskins territory a few plays later. Miles Austin over the middle, a nice nine-yard grab here, but we kind of got to get some bigger chunks. Third and one, Romo, quick step, drop, throws outside, caught by Kevin Ogletree, and he's going to be tackled at the 31-yard line, gain of five. And we are running a no-huddle offense now to maximize our time. And here is Jason Witten, a great throw by Romo, actually. I got scared when he lobbed that one up. But Jason Witten makes a nice over-the-shoulder grab for a first down. And now we're working in the red zone. Romo fires to the outside, and it's intercepted by Richard Crawford, who cut in front of Kevin Ogletree. He's got nothing but green in front of him as Evans Okacha and Ogletree give chase. Okacha gaining ground. He can't strip it, and Ogletree catches up to him and tackles him at the one-yard line. But they scored an easy touchdown then. It's 38-10, down by 28. And our guys are so tired. We have Danny Cole, Cole Beasley, and Felix Jones playing wide receiver. Here's old boy, John Phillips. Nice grab here. Could have been another disastrous turnover. 
but he gets 15 yards on the catch. We're now working at the 24-yard line. Romo going long to the end zone for Witten, and he overthrows him. Or looks like Witten could have actually made a play if he put his hands up, but he didn't. At the 8-yard line now, Tony Romo, he's got great protection over the middle. He fires it to Miles Austin, who makes a catch for a touchdown. But we still have a large deficit to come back from. But I watched the miracle at the Meadowlands, so we're still playing football here. Romo, deep middle. What a catch by Jason Witten. I like this camera view, too. This is a pretty camera view. But it's 2nd down and 10 now. Tony Romo back in the shotgun, tight set bunch. He's going to fire it to the right side. Caught Ogletree as Okacha tries to lay some blocks, and he's unable to as Ogletree is tackled after eight yards. Third down and two now, Romo dumps left side, Kato Kacha first down and more, and he's hit out of bounds for a gain of six or seven yards, but we need some bigger chunks than this. So we're sending everybody to the end zone, and Romo's gotta take a shot, long flag on the play, and Miles Austin can't hang on, and the flag is a roughing the passer on Perry Riley, and that's gonna give the Cowboys an automatic first down into the red zone. And so once again, everybody go along as Romo drops back, but he's going to call his own number and take off, and he is speared by Perry Riley. Fumble on the play, picked up by London Fletcher, and that would essentially end the game as Tony Romo. What were you trying to do there? And now you're shaking hands with guys that just demolished you on this day. And this was a game where we just showed up and did not play football. The offense was not very good, and the defense was... Even worse than the offense, if you can believe it, if you're going to see the numbers here once we get to the headline. But here are a couple highlights from the game. And by the way, guys, I'm experimenting with some new audio settings on my videos so you guys can hear more background noise. And I wasn't sure if you guys could throughout the past year because I listened to everything in a headset, so I hear a lot of background noise. Let me know if the audio is good and you can hear some of the game sounds or if it needs to be cranked up a little bit more. But you can see RG3, five touchdowns. And the Cowboys are now at 5-6 and six in a must-win situation now against Philadelphia, who is also 5-6. and six. We're going to be playing that game next episode. So anyways, guys, here are two more videos for you to check out. Left side, check out my Mr. Hurricane communities on both consoles. And I have no idea what I'm going to put on the right side yet. So watch those two videos, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day.